hello and welcome to sap learning academy in this video i'm going to discuss about a very vital and important topic in ip and this is my day three in ip tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to discuss about all the options of disaggregation and distribution as you know that while you doing the disaggregation in input ready queries you have to choose these options so you have a different options how will you distribute the data so i will start with the definition now and then i will show you the options available in this aggregation and then i will show you some of the uh, examples to understand this concept so this aggregation is used for top-down distribution so it helps to manually enter data within manual planning it enables you to make manual entries within input ready queries also for aggregated values so there's two important things that you need to remember that is disaggregation is used for top down distribution it means suppose you have a total amount suppose uh, earlier uh, you have a total amount like 100 and you have five components i mean five material like uh, each having maybe uh, some some material is having 30 some material is having 10 20 like that now you want to change this total amount to 200 and that 200 will be distributed among its materials so this is called the top down distribution it means from the top i mean you have a amount total amount and you are changing the total amount and then your the uh, the its uh, other components will be changing and you remember that it is used for aggregated data like total amount or some kind of thing and now i'm coming to the options available in disaggregation so once you select a key figure in your query for input ready you will have the options this below options these three options you will be getting first one is no disaggregation then disaggregate value entered and third one is a disaggregate difference to entered value and once you select any of these uh, any of these disaggregation functions uh, you will have to choose the distribution how will you distribute this this uh, data will it be equally distributed will it be analog distribution self reference or same as reference object you know some object xyz so so if you select this no distribution it, it actually doesn't do anything so your main distribution starts with disaggregate value entered and this third option so now i will show you the example how uh, this concept works so coming to the first example uh, it is the if you see the title here it is no the uh, disaggregation so here we will not understand the concept of you know the distribution so just i have you know i'm coming to the next uh, example from here on you will understand the concept of this so uh, it is disaggregate entered value and equal distribution so as i told you that once you select the disaggregation option you have to choose the distribution options as well like so once you choose any of these uh, i mean uh, distribute function uh, disaggregate functions you have to choose the distribution function as well so similarly if i'm coming to this example so disaggregate value entered and you are choosing equal distribution so uh, if you see this example so we have three material like monitor 17 19 and 21 and 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 this one that is uh, for each material we have data like 20 10 and 0 and total is 30 and now your this result field is input ready as i told you earlier that disaggregation works for uh, aggregated data like result is my aggregated data so it was so before my data was 30 now i'm changing to 36 so 
once we are changing changing the data to 36 and i want to distribute among its all material so we need to look at what options we have chosen it is equal distribution so this 36 will be distributed among all its article equally so that will be 12 12 and 12 so that's easy to understand you know this part so i will be moving to the next example to understand the other options now i'm coming to this example here what has happened this aggregate entered value and analog distribution self-reference so in this example like you know if i go to this so you are choosing this option disaggregate value entered and this one analog distribution so what happens here so as per the same in our um, example like we have three material here like 17 19 and 21 monitor and and look at this uh, input you know before you know changing the data so initially you have the data like 20 10 and 0 and now 30 uh, so you are changing the total amount to 36 so what it does it will make a ratio so among its all the available data like 20 and 10 so it is the ratio like 2 is to 1 so here my data is 36 so the 36 will be um, distributed you know among uh, how the ratio is like here ratio is 2 is to 1 similarly it will be 24 and 12 so that's simple so it will make a ratio so uh, in respect to the available data and then the data will be distributed so now I'm coming to the another option that is disaggregate value entered and analog distribution to following structured animal uh, element so you are choosing these options and the last one so so in that option so I mean you are actually then that that uh, if I change that option I say analog distribution to following so it's a, another name is just I'm adding analog distribution distribution you know as compared to um, following object so both things are same okay so if I coming to that example so what it does so as for the same example you have three uh, three you know ma material and now you have a field that is amount reference because you are reference to to some other field so in this reference field and this reference field and now we can see that it is one 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 so it means it is equally distributed and now earlier you have data of 30 now you are changing to 36 so this 36 data will be distributed equally because it will be referring to an another field now where you have equally distributed of one 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 so that's simple to it is very simple to understand i believe so I, I'm coming to the last slide of this video. So here uh, I'm going to choose this option now. Disaggregate difference to entered value. And in respect to this option, I will be choosing equally first, then analog distribution, self-reference. And the third one is analog distribution as compared to following object. So here, what we are going to see that if you choose the disaggregate difference to value entered and equal distribution so in this case you now as per the same example you know, we have data earlier 30 uh, 20 10 30 now we're changing the total amount to 36 so what is the difference we have done here that is uh, 6 6 is the increased value so that's the different thing here so that's it is called as difference disaggregate difference to entered value so what is the difference in that is a, is a six so this six will be equally distributed i mean two 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 
I mean we have chosen the equal distribution here so the disaggregate difference to value entered and equal distribution so in this case it is increased by 6 and this 6 will be equally distributed among its available materials like so the 20 will be added with 2 10 will be added with 2 and 0 plus 2 is 2 so coming to the next option that is disaggregate difference to value entered and analog distribution so in this case so i have the data 30 now i'm changing to 36 so here what we have to think that what is the increased value is 6 this increased value is 6 and what is the ratio it is ratio is 2 is to 1 so it's a, so this 6 will be added you know like um, you know in the ratio so it will be 4 is to 2 so this 20 will be added with 4 and 10 will be added with uh, 2 so it becomes 24 and 12 I'm coming to the last option that is the disaggregate difference to value entered and analog distribution with reference to following structured animal element so in this case so if you remember if you look at this reference object amount reference we are referencing to a field that is amount and if you look at the amount data okay it is how it is stored it is like 10 and 20 and for the this material 19 monitor that is 0 so in this case so its ratio is 1 is to 2 so my and uh, look at the data earlier I have 30 now I'm changing to 36 so the increased value is 6 that what you need to remember for difference means you have to how much difference you have entered so you have increased by 6 so the 6 will be divided as per the ratio available in the amount so so it will be obviously 1 is to 2 so it, it will become 2 is to uh, 2 and 4 so 20 will be added with 2 and in this field 0 plus 4 is 4 and there will be nothing will be added with 0 because we have not given there's no data in this amount field so that's how all about these distribution functions and disaggregation functions i hope you have understood very well about this so uh, thank you for listening this video i will come up with a new video soon so have a nice day bye